Okay, on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got a picture and a video clip which I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we drag a picture into Photoshop of this kid like in this spacesuit. And we're going to go ahead and click select and we're going to do subject. That will select the subject here and then we can click on the image here and we can add a layer mask. Let's click on add layer mask and that will be our transparent image. So we can go to file, save as and we're going to go to the computer and we're just going to save it as image-01. So that can be any image with any transparent background. It can be a PNG file as well but I like to just import the Photoshop file directly into Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. We'll create a new project. And inside this new project, we need to give it a name. It's going to call this Sample, and we'll click OK. Now, what's important is we, let's just wait for Premiere Pro to boot up. And just go to Window and go to Workspace and click All Panels so you see exactly what I see. And then we can go ahead to this folder and we can uh, drag and drop this video clip. Now, depending on the size of the video clip, in this case, it is actually 1920 by 1080 so it's HD resolution so we can just drag and drop that directly on the timeline if your image if your if your video clip is of a different resolution you can just right click here create a new item uh, let's see create a new um, a new item here and it's going to be a color map let's click that and it'll be 1920 by 1080 and we can click OK and we just make it black color map when we can drag that color map onto the timeline to make sure our video content is 1920 by 1080 then we can go ahead and drag and drop the video onto the timeline so once we drag and drop the video on the timeline that will sit above but that just makes sure our settings are set at 1920 by 1080 then we can take the picture of the photoshop file and drag and drop that onto the timeline as well and now we can see the person inside here but obviously he's way too big so what we can do is click on the image itself and you need to go to the effects controls right press shift and f5 or you can go to windows and click effects controls here shift f5 or shift 5 and then we want to scale this so let's scale let's click here and scale him down and then we can just go ahead and click on position click on it and then we can drag him down to somewhere around here and now we have that person as a transparent png or transparent photoshop file directly in premiere pro so we can animate that we can have him sort of move up and down and we can do anything we want we can have lots and lots of pictures animated in uh, premiere pro directly from the photoshop file so let's have a quick example let's move to the beginning of the timeline let's click here let's click on um, the position tool and add the stopwatch to add a keyframe so we've got one keyframe right at the beginning let's scrub across the page maybe to sort of like the middle sort of position we'll add another keyframe here let's click this arrow right here that takes us back to the first keyframe and we can just move him down a little bit not too much and then we can just go ahead and click on this keyframe, right click on it, go to spatial interpolation and make sure it's set to auto bezier. That will just make sure that there's a nice smooth transition. We can click play, the sparks fly, he's moving, everyone's happy. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you go about importing transparent PSD files directly into Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.